So my name's Steve Evans. I'm the head of the Molecular and Nanoscale Physics Group at Leeds. Um, my, own, my personal research interests are on the interface between biology and physics, and in particular, um, I, I'm intrigued by what we can learn by a field called biomimicry, where we, we study aspects of nature and the way biology does things. And we can either learn from that and help biologists understand biological systems, or we can take those ideas from biology and see if we can translate those into new materials um, or, or new ideas within physics. And so there have been examples in, in the literature, for example, of geckos and how geckos walk up walls and then people have now mimicked um, how these the weakest interactions that we know about, these van der Waals forces, actually can provide enough strength so that Physically, if I could hold two geckos, I could literally put one on the wall and we could walk across the wall just by having these two geckos um, because they can take so much weight. But these are actually very weak interactions that they can peel, obviously peel their feet from the ceiling in just milliseconds. So I think there's a lot to learn from biological systems that we could translate. My research interests are really uh, surrounding the interface between the interior and the exterior of a cell because there are many interesting phenomena go on in this very thin membrane uh, that separates, uh, if you like, this inner world from this outer world. So w when, when a cell gets information, and that could be in the form of a photon, it could be in the form of a chemical signal, it has to translate that signal across the membrane. And almost all of the drugs that interact um, or, interact through inter uh, membrane proteins, so proteins that sit within this membrane. Um, almost, but, but the problem with this, with these proteins is that nobody knows what the structure is. So it's one of the big um, unknowns in biology. There's only a handful of proteins that the structure is actually known about. And so what we're trying to do is to develop new methodologies whereby we can then go to uh, facilities such as the uh, synchrotrons in, in um, Rutherford labs or, or across to ILL to do neutron studies and to try and understand what the structure function relationships are for these proteins but in a very new way and this has been a very difficult challenge and still only a handful of protein structures for membrane proteins. One of the examples of biomimicry um, that particularly fascinates me is, is the idea that we can um, perhaps make in, um, metamaterials. Uh, these are materials that have interesting optical properties. They have negative refractive index. Um, th this is very popular or, or receiving lots of popular attention at the moment because of um, the idea that one might make things like invisibility cloaks. And this is work that's being led in the UK um, theoretically. Um, by uh, Sir John Pendry and may he indeed lead to the next Nobel Prize for, for him. Uh, but I think experimentally the, the work is much further behind uh, the theor theory. And this offers a lot of opportunity for, for people who are interested in how to make such um, highly intricate sort of structures of um, highly precisely positioned nanomaterials. And so uh, there is an example of a certain beetle that, that displays all of these um, optical properties that one might um, need to, to and, and so perhaps we can learn by looking at how the beetles make um, the, these very highly ordered structures and see if we can take that into, um, into the lab and then obviously later into real exploitation. But, but that's a, a long way away and, and I think you know, the point is, is going from nanoscale to the macroscale and self-assembling of, of nanostructures is a big challenge and it's one that's recognised in the UK that, that we should be tackling at the moment.